Hey, you guys, are you a Dragon Ball Z fan like me? And you thought, and you always think about coming up new plans for a brand new Dragon Ball Z to come out in the nearest future? Well, don't worry. You guys are not alone. I am thinking about that possibility too. So I come up with ideas for a, they should make a brand new Dragon Ball Z game for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series in the nearest future. If you wish to see more, just watch my YouTube channel. I just hope that IGN, Atari, and Bantai Nanko can take their time to check this video out because it's all about Dragon Ball Z and it's really important to me. Thoughts and ideas for a brand new Dragon Ball Z game for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series in the future? Talk to me and I'll give you all the ideas. Go to the title card. guys justin television here i'm so happy and excited again today is sunday july 11 2021 and this video is all about dragon ball z because num number one i love dragon ball z and number two it's always going to be my favorite no matter what happens see goku just saying super saiyan goku super saiyan goku so in this video it's all about thoughts and ideas that they should that Bantai namco and atari should make the newest dragon ball z game in the nearest future Here's are my thoughts and some, some questions. They should make a brand new Dragon Ball Z game for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series in the nearest future. And I came up with two names so far, but there's gonna be more in, in the nearest future. There's gonna be more Dragon Ball Z games in the nearest future. But the one that I chose and thought about it was Dragon Ball Super Legendary Saiyan versus Saiyan Gods. And the other one that I picked out Dragon Ball Z Ultra Instinct Madness. I, I I thought about those two games because number one, for Dragon Ball Super Legendary Saiyan versus Saiyan Gods, it's similar to the movie, like Dragon Ball Super Broly, the movie that came out on Wednesday, January 16, 2019. It's similar, like, okay, if you get the gist of Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, the movie, right? They made the movie and the game out of it, but with different names. So if you think about it, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods is also the same game as Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. They changed it a bit from the movie and the game. So I was thinking, in my, in, in my opinion, they should make a, 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 a brand new Dragon Ball Z game that's based on the movie as well. Just like they did with Battle of Gods. The movie Dragon Ball Super Broly the movie. But instead of calling the movie for the game, it should be called Dragon Ball Super Legendary Saiyan vs. Saiyan Gods. It's Broly, Goku, and Vegeta fighting in the cold snow. Just like the movie Dragon Ball Super Broly the movie. But instead of that name, we changed the name for the game. For the game. Dragon Ball Super Legendary Saiyan vs. Saiyan Gods. It's between Goku, Vegeta, and Broly battling in the cold snow. And then they figure out why they want to battle Broly so bad. And then Goku and Vegeta transform into Super Saiyan Blue. And they both did the fusion together for Gogeta to defeat Broly once and for all. And find out why Broly came into the planet in the first place with his father, Paragus. Why they came to this planet in the first place. Because... Broly had a mythical creature friend who was a big bear. And then the big bear gave Broly his bear cloth to wrap it up in his waist. So yeah, it's similar just like Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods and Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. The game of the movie and the game of the game. So yeah, if you get the gist of this, Dragon Ball Super Broly the movie, also known as a brand new Dragon Ball Super video game, which is Dragon Ball Super... Legendary Saiyan versus Saiyan Gods is the same similarity as the movie Dragon Ball Super Broly the movie, if you get the gist of it. And there's another one that I thought about it too, another, another game called Dragon Ball Z Ultra Instinct Madness. That game should be cool and, and that game should also come out in the nearest future. Dragon Ball Z Ultra Instinct Madness. Madness. That game is mostly about when Goku and Vegeta always compete each other to see who's the strongest Saiyan in the universe. And then they fight an evil monster that they have to face. And then Goku and Vegeta transform into Ultra Instinct in order to defeat that enemy to make sure that enemy doesn't come to the planet ever again. I don't know the name of the enemy, but the enemy is big, strong, and tough. It's not Jiren. It's not Broly. It's not Beerus. It's a mysterious 
strongest foe that they have to face in order to save the world for having the world destroyed. And then when they're having trouble not defeating the biggest, largest enemy, they call Lord Beerus and Whis to help them out and the rest of the Z fighters to help them out too. Like, for example, when Goku is in a terrible situation, like, for example, the Buu Saga, right? Goku... Vegeta gives Goku time to charge up the massive spirit bomb and everybody from the whole wide world and the Z fighters help give Goku the strength to defeat him once and for all and everything will be back to normal. But in this case, this is a different game. It's called Dragon Ball Z Ultra Instinct Madness. It's all about Goku and Vegeta training each other every single day to find out who's the strongest. And then there's the biggest enemy, the biggest, strongest enemy they have to face. And then when Goku and Vegeta run out of energy, they call the Z Fighters to come help them out, like Gohan, Krillin, Tien, Yamcha, and Master Roshi. And the and the saying and the God Beerus and Whis to help them out to help them all of them in the terrible situation in order to defeat the biggest strongest enemy they have to face to save the planet once again you know terrible things happen when they all want to battle with Goku but necessarily and consistently it's all about Goku because Goku is the strongest he's number one he would defeat anybody even though sometimes when he defeats the per person sometimes. He sometimes loses because he knows that that person is strong and he'll continue to train the other day. So yeah, Dragon Ball Z Ultra Instinct Madness. It's between Goku and Vegeta going head to head, training each other and Whis's and Whis's planet with Lord Beerus and Whis. Just like they trained in Beerus and Whis's planet to become Super Saiyan Blue. So in this game, it's between Goku and Vegeta going head to head each other every single day while training in Beerus and Whis's planet. And then the biggest, strongest enemy they have to face, Goku and Vegeta transform into Ultra Instinct. And when they figure out they cannot defeat the enemy, they do the fusion. They do the fusion of Vegito, but not Gogeta like they did with Dragon Ball Super Broly the movie. They do the fusion as Vegito, Vegito Ultra Instinct. And then when their powers run out, they feel like they failed. They will call the Z Fighters and the God of Destruction and his teacher to help them out gain all that power back and to defeat the enemy with one punch. And then the world is saved once again. I'm thinking in my opinion, people will like Dragon Ball Z Ultra Instinct Madness game more than Dragon Ball Super Legendary Saiyan versus Saiyan Gods. They probably would vote on it. Which one... Which of the Dragon Ball Z games should come out in the nearest future? Dragon Ball Z Ultra Instinct Manus or Dragon Ball Super Legendary Saiyan vs. Saiyan Gods? I will put up the, the cutaway pictures so you guys can see what they look like. So like I said before, for Dragon Ball Super Legendary Saiyan vs. Saiyan Gods, it's the same similar as the movie Dragon Ball Super Broly the movie just like what they did with Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods and they did the game Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z it's the same thing as the movie but they changed the name around it in this case but like I said before I'll explain again for Dragon Ball Super Legendary Saiyan versus Saiyan Gods it's the same similarity as Dragon Ball Super Broly the movie they fight Broly and find out what's going on that game Dragon Ball Super Legendary Saiyan versus Saiyan Gods for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. And then the other game, Dragon Ball Z Ultra Instinct Madness. It's about when Goku and Vegeta go head to head every single time during their training. And then they both turn Ultra Instinct at the same time. And for the fusion, it's Vegito this time instead of Gogeta. Because they already did that with Dragon Ball Super Broly. So yeah, the fusion will be... Vegeta with the Patar earrings. They they have it in their pockets the whole time in their in their in their suits. They have the Patar for safekeeping when they're about to battle with the Ultra Instinct fusion as Vegito. But not Super Saiyan, Ultra Instinct. They combine their powers together in order to defeat the biggest, strongest enemy that they have to face. And yeah, they will definitely defeat the enemy. And then the world is saved once again. Everything comes in the way of the planet to fight some Saiyans because they're most likely after Goku because they know that Goku is the strongest guy in the world. I mean, Beerus and Whis is stronger as well. That's why Goku couldn't defeat him in the beginning for Battle of Gods. But then with the help, with the help of 
massive Z fighters. They'll have the power to defeat them once again. So yeah, you guys, which which game do you think should come out in the nearest future? Dragon Ball Super uh, Legendary Saiyan versus Saiyan Gods or Dragon Ball Z Ultra Instinct Madness? You get to pick. You get to decide. Because I really hope Atari, Bandai Namco, and IGN could take their time to check out this video. Only this video, because this is all about Dragon Ball Z, a newest game in the nearest future. I just hope IGN, Bandai Namco, and Atari could take their time to check out this video so they can see my idea and then they could put it out there. But if they think it's good or whatever, and they want to change it up a bit, they could. Because this is my idea. And if they see this video, they'll they'll think about it. They'll give it a shot. Because I really hope in the nearest future, a brand new Dragon Ball Z game should come out for PS5 and Xbox Series. Because think about it. Logistically, every single Dragon Ball Z game only comes out for PlayStation and Xbox. Sometimes Nintendo, but not consistently. PlayStation 1. PlayStation 2. PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and Series. That every single Dragon Ball Z game comes out the most for Xbox and PlayStation the most if you think about it. Okay, you guys. I hope you find this video very satisfying. Comment down my YouTube channel and subscribe. And what is your thoughts and opinions while watching this entire video about a brand new Dragon Ball Z game suggestions? Leave a comment right below and give me more suggestions so the IGN, Atari, and Bandai Namco could take the time to watch this particular video. For the newest Dragon Ball Z to release for PlayStation 5 and Xbox series in the nearest future. Oh! Before I close out the video, I'm just hoping for the brand newest Dragon Ball Z game in the nearest future should come out on October 25th. Think about it. Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tekaichi and Xenoverse 2 both came out on October 25th, but different years. The same date, but different years. October 25th, October 25th. I'm hoping for the newest Dragon Ball Z for series and PS5 should come out on October 25th. Just October 25th, like they did with Ultimate Tekaichi and Xena Verse 2, to make it release only on October 25th, the newest Dragon Ball Z game for the PS5 and Xbox series, to make it come out on October 25th. Okay, you guys, find this video very satisfying. Comment down my YouTube channel and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Every YouTube session, clean, organized, and consistent. Every YouTube session. See? Easy as one, two, three. This is important. Okay, you guys, I hope you find this video very satisfying. Comment down my YouTube channel and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Hit that like button. Leave some comments, comments if you wish to please. And hit or jam that subscribe button. Okay, you guys, find this video satisfying. Comment down my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys out there. You're my everything. YouTube is my big responsibility. I'm going to be happy no matter what. And everything is going to be okay. I'm a happy person. I'm happy, strong, organized, and consistent when it comes to newest gaming industries in the nearest future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys out there. You're my everything. Keep watching my videos and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See you guys next time.